Slick Fire Birds are proud to select Cole Zorowski from the Mississauga Rebels Hockey Club. Yeah, you know, with Cole, it, it's the first time in my scouting career that uh, I've had a staff or worked with a staff that's been unanimous across the board where this was the guy they targeted and this was the guy they wanted. Uh, he just, we feel he just fits the true Firebird mold. Uh, you know, he plays with a little edge, a lot of skill, uh, very cerebral. And, you know, we just feel that he'll he'll fit in nicely with, with what we have now. Cole, I mean, he's, he's a bit of a power forward, which, you know, as a 16 year old, you're not going to come in and start out muscling 19 and 20 year olds. But when he's 18, we figure he'll be, you know, a, a powerhouse and, and, and a force to be reckoned with. Uh, what you can't teach is goal scoring. Cole seems to have that knack. He's got a, a pro release now, and it's only going to get better. Uh, he understands the game, and he, he always plays the right way. So that's what we liked about him. You know, we watched him all year, of course, but uh, then at the end of the year, when we noticed he was getting called up quite a bit and playing, uh, you know, pr pretty regular shifts, that was kind of the uh, deciding factor. He didn't look out of place. And, you know, he kind of fit right in and looked like a 19-year-old playing in that league. So that kind of made our decision a little easier. Clint Flyerbirds are proud to select Xavier Tessier from Ottawa Myers. So Xavier, you know, we, we just felt was a 200-foot player that did everything very well. Uh, you know, he, he, knows, he knows the game, understands the game, and again, plays the right way. Uh, he's a bigger body, uses his body very effectively, you know, shielding pucks. Uh, kind of, again, fits the, the Firebird mold and, and kind of the style that we want to play. We want to be heavy in the corners and along the boards. And, when, you know, we want to control kind of that area of the ice. And he seemed to, to do that very well. So for him, it's just playing the right way, being being able to use his body effectively. Um, he skates well, he moves well for a big man. Um, he'll fit right in along the left side and or center. Uh, he's very versatile that way. Um, again, he can, he can play any kind of style. He can play run and gun with you, which we don't want to play, but if we had to, he can play that style. But, you know, he can grind you down too, which is what we like. Flint Firebirds are proud to select Ryland Cunningham from the Peterborough Peach U16. So about Ryland, uh, uh, we love the fact that, you know, he had a great regular season, no question, but he seemed to find another level in the playoffs and he just, he was a catalyst for that team. Uh, he was a guy that we think you're going to hate to play against. He's tenacious, you know, he's in your face. Uh, he backtracks with desperation. You know, every shift he plays like it's his last shift. And, and we like that energy. We like that skill set that he had. But we also like that he plays on the edge. You know, he kind of like that Brian Marchman or Marchand type of player. You know what I mean? Like, just not big in stature, but a big heart. It's just that tenacity and being able to, to keep that uh, that work ethic up. Uh, that's going to take him a long way, especially at this level and hopefully the next level. You know, we're all the goal is to get to the next level, of course. Uh, the skill sets there, like you said, um, that's not a question. Uh, you know, size at this level is not going to be a, a big factor. Maybe at the next level, who knows? But if he does grow an inch or two, he's he's going to be a heck of a player. Flint Firebirds are proud to select Gage Brandon from the Vaughn Kings Hockey Club. Yeah, you know, there's always that one one player, two players of the draft that you're, you're impressed or surprised by. This is one of them. Uh, you know, we, we were ecstatic to, to get him where we got him. Um, again, another skilled guy. We thought this guy was the, goal, the glue that kept the Vaughn team together, which was evident in the OHL Cup when he got hurt. You know, what they, they didn't even score in the championship game. I think they got shut out one nothing. Uh, had he been in the lineup, you know, I'm sure it would have been different. But uh, we just felt that when when he went, that whole Vaughn team went. Uh, Christian was just, you know, just solid. I mean, he's, what, 30 days from being into the next year's draft and the 09 draft as well. At 6'4", he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got a lot of filling out to do, but we see him being just a simple puck moving, a guy that will activate here and there, but, you know, he's he's defensively responsible and, and kind of liken him to... Uh, uh, Ryland Fellinger that we, we signed last year and played, you know, some big minutes for us as a 16 year old. Uh, do I see those minutes for, you know, Christian? Well, he's going to have to earn them, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me because he's just, he's just responsibly, you know, right responsible in his own end. And, and uh, I think that'll translate very well to next season. And as he gets more comfortable, then he can start taking those offensive opportunities.
Uh, yeah, it is intriguing because uh, basically, you know, playing a Nichols prep, you know, it's kind of hidden. Uh, I don't know if there was a lot of chatter about this this one player, but uh, you know, we noticed him at Christmas time. One of our area guys were, were intrigued by him, and we started to follow him a little more after Christmas. And uh, what we liked is. Again, you can't teach scoring. So a kid that can put up over a goal a game, I don't care at what level, is going to be able to score at the next level. You know, he may not get, you know, 30 or 40, but he should be able to get 25 by the time he's 18 or 19 years old. So it's one thing you can't teach is the goal scoring. This this player here, again, kind of like Cole Zorowski, right wing, right center. Uh, tremendous release already, good size, skates well, very versatile. Uh, but again, he has that knack to score goals. Uh, you know, the organization is still in its infancy stage. You know, we're, I think, celebrating our 10th year this year. Um, but that's a big factor. You know, we want guys that want to be in Flint. And these four, obviously, you know, they want to be in Flint. They like what we're doing. Uh, they like the direction of the team, uh, their parents, uh, the agents. They all seem to want to buy in. Uh, things are looking really good for the future. And, and if this is an indication that, you know, we had four players signed before we even hit uh, August 1st. So that's a pretty good indication of what's going on.